Jesus is, is alive. alive. Mary Magdalene was a friend of Jesus. She'd been friends with Jesus ever since he made seven demons leave her alone. But now she was sad. She had seen him on the cross. And she had watched him die. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Jesus was the one she had followed. Jesus was the one she had listened to. Jesus was the one she had loved. Jesus one was the one that she had told everyone about. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? But then the soldiers had arrested him. They led him up the hill. They nailed him to the cross. And then Jesus had died. Mary had hoped he would be the one to rescue her people. Mary had hoped he would be her savior. But now her hope was gone. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? That was three days ago. She watched it where she watched where they buried him. She saw it all. She saw the tomb. She saw them put a stone in front of the opening. And that was Sunday, early in the morning. Just as the sun was coming up, she went with some women to find his body. They put spices on his body. But she wondered how they could ever roll that big stone away. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? And now, there is the tomb. But where is this stone? And who are the, those men in white? Angels! Are they angels? Could they really be angels? Have, have you heard? heard? Have, have you heard? heard? Have, have you heard the news about Jesus? Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Then an angel said, Jesus isn't here. He's alive. He's alive. Alive? He's alive? Could it even be true? Mary ran down the road. She ran back to town. She ran to the home of Peter and John. What is it, Mary? What's wrong? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? He's gone. He's missing. Oh, where could he be? So they ran to the tomb to see for themselves. And they found it all just like she said. Peter didn't know what to think, but John believed. Have, have you heard? heard? Have, have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? When Mary got, got back, back to the to tomb, tomb, she saw the angel. Why are you sad? asked the angel. Why are you sad? asked the man nearby. They've taken my Lord, she said, and I don't know where they've put him. Mary, it's me, said the man by the tomb. It's me, it's me, it's me. Teacher? Teacher! Tell my friends. I'll see them soon. Tell them. I've gone to see my father and your father. My God and your God. Go and tell them. Tell them all. That, so that's what, just what she did. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? And the news spread throughout the land. And through the years. And now it had reached us here today. Jesus isn't dead. He's alive. He's alive. And he wants everyone everywhere to hear. And believe. And share the news with others. Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Have you heard? Have you heard? Have you heard the news about Jesus? Jesus is alive. The end. Hello and happy Easter! Today is Easter and I imagine that by now you've all found and seen what has been inside your Easter basket. I don't know about your house, but at our house the Easter Bunny hides our Easter baskets and it takes us sometimes a little bit to find the Easter baskets. Sometimes they're hidden in plain sight and we look through them. Sometimes they're a little bit trickier to find. 
But when we do find them, it's always so exciting to see what is inside. And one of my favorite things when I was a kid was to see what's inside our Easter eggs. So I brought an Easter basket here, and since it's Easter Sunday, I thought we would take a look and see what's inside our Easter baskets. So sometimes when we open up the eggs, we might find candy. Sometimes we might find a little toy or trinket or some stickers. Sometimes there might even be money inside if you're lucky. So we're going to take a look at some of these eggs and see what's inside them. All right, we'll pick this pink one up. Hmm. Nothing in that one. Let's try another one. Oh, look at this cute little Easter bunny. Let's try this one. Nothing in that one. Let's try another one. A soccer ball. This is a trick. Bigger one? Maybe there's something in the bigger one. Well, these eggs are all empty. Here's one we can see through, and I see there's nothing inside this egg. Having an empty Easter egg is certainly disappointing. But what wasn't disappointing was when the ladies came to the tomb on that Easter morning, that very first Easter morning, and found the tomb empty. And the only thing that was in the tomb was Jesus' clothes. Because what that meant was Jesus wasn't dead. Jesus was alive and he was with us and lives with us. And so on this Easter Sunday, I hope you have candy or a trinket or something fun inside your Easter egg. That you remember that Easter isn't about the candy or the trinkets or the Easter eggs. But it's about that empty tomb that the ladies found on that very first Easter Sunday. And that Jesus is alive and with us every day. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for Easter eggs and Easter bunnies and Easter candy. And especially for Easter Sunday when we can remember that Jesus is alive and he is with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.